This is a redefining podcast, a space that is created to inspire you to make positive, healthy, and intentional decisions. You will be pushed to create a new path, change habits, and shift your thoughts. If you are on the search to find happiness, understanding, peace within your mind, this is the podcast for you. I am your host, Chaz, and welcome to the Redefining Podcast. Hey, hey, y'all, it's Chaz, and welcome back to another episode on the Redefining Podcast. So, y'all, I let me apologize. It's been a while. The last time I spoke with you all was August 19th, so... We got a lot to talk about. So today's topic, as you saw in the title, business. we're going to talk about you build people. Then people build the business. Just let that sit there. <laughs> let it sit. Let me read it again for you. You don't build a business. You build people. Then people build the business. That's the one. I really, really, really like this quote and it resonated with me for a number of reasons but just to keep it simple I feel like this pretty much embodies what my business represents if you don't know or if you do know my business is called Renew Spa and the name in itself should pretty much tell you why this quote was just like that's the one because my mission at Renew Spa is to invest into people is to remind them of their purpose to remind them that you need to take time for yourself, self-care. My goal is to educate them on, you know, the importance of, of course, nail health and things of that sort, but also like mental health. The conversations that I share with my clients is like none other. Um, they've truly helped me become such a better woman. And I honestly can say that my goal is to invest into them, which is why I chose this quote. You build the people and then the people that you invest into help you build your business. Perfect, right? Isn't it perfect? So what we're going to do is kind of build on today's quote. And I'm only going to share five things that I've learned thus far. I've learned so much, but, you know, we want to keep this kind of short, kind of sweet within that like 15 minute range. So we're already at three minutes. So let's jump right into it. So. The first thing that I have written down um, has to be that, um, y'all, this one was kind of hard for me, but it is what it is. Don't leave with the expectation for anyone to support you out the gate. Um, I think we kind of start our businesses and we're like, oh, yeah, I know Tyrone, Sharika, LaDrea, all of them going to support me. They're my homegirls. They rock with me. No. No, don't have no expectation at all. Um, I would say whatever the business is that you want to create, create it because you feel like there's a need for it and kind of just rest with that. Um, Of course, we want people to support us, but I found myself kind of being in this space in the beginning where I was just like, really, bro? Like you not going to just come and get a little polish on your, your index finger. You're not. No, they're not. Um, (laughs) That's just the way that it goes. So um, with that, I have also received so much support from people who I did not know, who did not know me. We don't know nothing about each other. Those have been the people who have shown me the most support throughout this journey. So as simple as that, um, when you're starting your business, don't go into it with the expectation that everyone around you is going to support They probably will. My story was a little bit different. And hearing from other people, their stories are very similar to my story. Just, 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 I don't want to say don't do it. uh, Even though I already said don't do it. But remind yourself of the purpose of the business. And I guess I could say don't. And don't (laughs) leave with the expectation that everyone around you is going to support you. Um, yeah, so I guess we kind of can leave that there. Know that who is for you is going to be for you. And I can honestly tell y'all, I truly do love my clients. I love all my clients. Yeah, 
they've shown me the most support. They show me the most support. And that is what truly matters to me. Yeah. All right. So let's go on to number two, because I don't want this to be too long, because I want you to listen to the whole podcast today. So number two, I learned throughout these four months that my ideas are so creative and they are capable of captivating. You heard that word? Captivating. Captivating. Am I saying it right? Y'all know I can't talk. Captivating others. Let me say that again. My ideas are creative and are capable of captivating others. <sighs> I got to pat myself on the back on this one, y'all. Having a business has just been so like, that's the one. And sometimes you do things or you have an idea and it don't pop. But for the most for the, the most part, excuse me, most of my ideas, something good has always came out of it. Which I'm going to kind of touch on this later just about like being confident but you have to be confident that what you want your business to offer no let me take that back you have to be confident in yourself and confident in your business and know that like what you have to offer works it works and sometimes you may have to revisit the plan or be like oh I did that that way that wasn't successful let me go back to the drawing board so I can come up with something that'll be a little bit more successful that's fine but what's most important is that like we just have to start so I say that this is something that I've learned because in the beginning I kind of had my reservations and I was like oh what if they don't like that what if they mm?" but the minute I stopped leading with that type of ideology and I just started like putting out what I felt was best for my business it sailed you know so don't be afraid to share your ideas um don't worry too much about the response that it's going to get. Someone is going to see it. Someone is going to buy into it. It's going to captivate someone that you could give a service to or who you can sell a product to, whatever type of business that you have. There's someone out there who can support your business and who will support your business. Okay? Okay. Tip number three, because we're moving fast today, honey. So it's not a tip. <laughs> number three, I guess it is a tip. It's probably a tip is I learned that um, feedback is important. Reviews influence the flow of your business. Okay, let's take this here. Don't be so confident to where you have a closed ear to getting feedback from your clients or just other people. Um, Of course, you want to know that what you have is it's honey you want to believe you want to say I'm the hottest popping everything out here but you also want to humble yourself a bit and understand that there is value in hearing back from people that like yeah actually when you polish my nails you were a little bit too close to my cuticles and I like that and not take offense to it there's value in um hearing back from people how they think you did or how they felt your products were. So always be open and receptive to um, feedback and reviews. And not only that, create a space to invite them. So I often take polls. I often post pictures and I say like, hey, how do you think I did? Hey, what do you feel that I can do better? Constructive criticism is the best teacher experiences too but constructive criticism can truly help you build into it can help build your character i should say so be open to that on the number four and then we have one more left y'all we doing good with time look at us at 10 minutes okay number four is the value there's so much value in organizing your time your money your resources your thoughts it's so important that all of that needs to be organized for your self-care, you all. All I think about is business. I used to think about boys, but now I think about business. <laughs> all I think about is business, 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 business. I didn't get really used to think about boys, y'all. I'm just playing. But that's all I think about. All I think about is like, oh, what can I do? Oh, I want to do that. Oh, I want to do that. Like, I have no books of pages full of ideas and just things I want to do or just taking time to reflect on like what's going well or what I need to change. 
just pages of numbers, profits, um, things that I have to pay for. Like, it's just business, business, business is my life. Everything is that. My life, business, life. That's everything, okay? Y'all get what I'm trying to say. But I truly learned that, like, all of these things have to be organized and you have to be the one organizing them. Like, you. No one else. You. Of course, you need accountants and all those other great people, but it starts with you first. So, know how you want to spend your time. I wake up in a day and I knew the day before how I was going to spend today. Let me say that over. I knew yesterday how I was going to spend today. So I organized my time. I made a list of like, what's my top priority for the things in my business? And I tackle them, you know, I get them, get them in and get them out. Um, the money piece, I'm still working on that. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to actually do a vlog. I mean, not a vlog. Yeah, a vlog and um, a podcast about this with someone because I need a little extra help in this area while I just manage my finances and separating everything. So I haven't mastered that yet. I'm going to be completely honest. But it's better to kind of stop now and get a flow on things opposed to continuing to sell the boat the way I've been selling it and I end up somewhere I don't need to be. So I have been more conscious of like how I'm spending money and depositing money and, you know, um, moving money to different accounts and just tracking down all my profits and, you know, um, all of that stuff that comes with having a business because we're building a successful business. We're not going to get in no um, BS with the tax People, we're not getting audited. We're not getting none of that, okay? And um, just your thoughts. I, I'm i teaching myself now how to just turn my thoughts off. Once it's on the paper, let it be on the paper for that time being. Go do something that Chaz enjoy. Um, and that's going to help. That has helped me sustain my, sustain my um, self-care and just... Also making my self-care a priority just as much as my business is a priority. That was a lot. Hopefully that all came out right. Hopefully y'all don't listen to this back like, what? <laughs> what are you trying to say, girl? But I hope that came together. Just organize your time, your money, your resources, your thoughts for your self-care. Like you, the headaches are real when these things are intact. Okay. And the last one will have to just kind of um, encompass all of these together. And this is just a way for me to just encourage you and say that starting a business is so liberating. And that was number five. Starting a business is so liberating. Um, having a business, you all, has just really increased my confidence. I've had the opportunity to collaborate with um, individuals, other businesses, and I've just grown so much, um, as a woman and it's been very liberating. Like it's been something to say like, Hey, that is mine. That's mine. Renu Spa, Bologna who? Chazzy Poo. Okay. It's very liberating. So I just want to encourage you that if you don't have a business to start a business, if you have an idea, create a plan, um, yeah, pretty much as simple as that. It can be, it can feel very frightening in the beginning. I've been there. We'll talk about this later, but just start and I promise you, you won't regret it. Okay. All right. So a few questions that I want to leave you all with is if you are a business owner, what have you learned throughout your entrepreneur journey? Comment that in the comments down below. As well as, if you're listening to this, I would love for you to connect with me on social media. You can um, tag me in your response there with a little clip of you listening to this podcast. I want to know, again, what have you learned throughout your entrepreneur journey? Okay? All right. Next steps. Always remember, challenge yourself. Be confident in yourself and your business. The things that I have learned, I hope that you can apply them. And if you're thinking about starting a business, like I said before, just do it. And of course, we want to shout out another black owned business. So today we're going to shout out a business that is local here in my city, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And it is called Pure Lux Beauty Bar. 
at Pure Luxury Beauty Bar, they are committed to making a client experience as pure as possible. So if you're looking for an esthetician who specializes in facials and waxing and all that other good stuff that estheticians do, please be sure to follow her on her Instagram page at Pure Lux, Pure Lux Beauty Bar. Make sure you follow me on my social media profiles, Instagram Defining Chaz, Facebook Defining Chaz, Snapchat Defining Chaz, everything Defining Chaz. In our next episode of the Redefining Podcast, I am Chaz and I am signing out. Bye, y'all. Thanks for the continued support, and if you like this video, please subscribe for more videos.